Hi there, and welcome to the third video in my series on configuring AutoCAD. My name is Chris, and in this video we're going to talk about the plot styles in your drawing, in your, uh, your template. This is going to be building off the last video that I made, which is about layers in your template and how to set up layers. And I used a script, which I built in this spreadsheet here. And I'm going to be using this as a reference for the colors here for our plot style. So let's go ahead and get started. And you'll notice again we've got our layers here. And this is the layers set that we created in the last video. And you'll notice they've all got assigned pen numbers to them. And this is important that they have pen numbers versus RGB values. So if you're using a true color value or RGB value, uh, that the, the plot styles won't function the same for you. So let's go ahead and make sure we got the uh, the index colors there for that, and then we're going to go ahead and open up the plot dialog. Now, by default, if you haven't had this open before, it probably opens up and looks like this. And in order to be able to get to the plot styles, you have to click this little arrow and expand it, and you'll notice over here you've got plot style listings right here. So you see I've already created one here called uh, Architectural Template b and I'm going to go ahead and make a new one here. We'll just call it... Uh, here we go. Go to new. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to call it architectural BNW. And we're going to go ahead and use the plot style editor. <clears throat> Pardon me. You notice it comes up, and again, you've got all your, your pen colors here, your plot styles. And we're going to assign a, a print color to the pen color. Now, the reason why you have layers that are a different color than what they plot is because it's easier to differentiate between them on the screen when you're drafting. So, I mean, if you have everything and everything's on your screen is gray and black, it's really hard to differentiate between between objects in a really dense drawing. So in order to, to keep those separate, we, we color code them. But we don't want them to print necessarily in the colors that are on the screen, so we've got the plot style, which changes the the color on the screen to the color that it's going to be in plot. So let's go ahead and start here with uh, with area. It's color 10. So we'll go to color 10 here and we go to color. You'll notice there are a bunch of other options. I like to handle these by layer. I don't like to touch these in the plot style. It's a personal preference and they, the options are there. So I mean, it's obviously free game. It's open open season on them. But I personally don't don't use anything but the color. So let's go ahead and use the color here. Now, there are only three colors that I use. I use black, which is color seven. I use color eight right here, and I use color nine. And we're going, and the reason is because when I'm plotting black and white, you really don't get a whole lot of variation. And on a lot of printers, um, color nine doesn't show up very well. It shows up great on, on uh, a big plotter, where you have a, a gray cartridge, but um, if you're just working with a normal CMYK printer, color nine can be a little bit rough showing up. So I, I'll usually usually use it for for stuff that's just kind of meta to the the drawing. It's it's a detail that I don't want to pop, but that kind of adds adds depth to the drawing. So in this case, um, we're going to go ahead and say the area is color ten. I'm going to go ahead and make that color 8. Now you'll notice color 8 isn't in the list here, so we're going to go ahead and select it. You can go to your index colors, type 8, color 8 is in, and we'll go to the next one. Color 11 is occupant or employee names, and again we're going to use color 8 for that, so let's say 8. Color 12 here is our ceiling. Now this is going to be the pattern of the ceiling, and I don't want the pattern of the ceiling to really stick out, so I'm going to make that color 9. And there we are. And now we have access and openings. Now here's an interesting thing that you can do. If you know that multiple colors are going to be the same, uh, multiple pens are going to be the same color, you can highlight multiple pens concurrently or uh, um, at the same time and, and assign them colors simultaneously. So for example, we know that ceiling access and ceiling openings are going to be color eight um, because they're important, but they're not something that, again, you want to pop off the page, which is what black does. So we'll go ahead and do that. And again, 
and we could go through all of these. That'd be an incredibly long and boring video, but this is the gist of how it works. Once you've got that all done, you go ahead and click Save and Close, and you go ahead and click Finish. You'll notice your plot style pops up here, and you can apply that to whatever drawings you'd like. Now, again, the thing to remember is that this plot style is built for this layer set, uh, specifically for the colors in this layer set. And um, so you want to make sure that you tailor your plot style to your layers and you kind of think of them both, both together. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. That's about it for this video. Uh, if you thought this video was good, giving it, give me a thumbs up. If you thought this video was great, life-changing, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I'll bring you more of them, and I will see you in the next video.